Hello everyone, for today, we will be talking about integrative art as applied to contemporary art, specifically in painting. Pablo Picasso, painter 1881-1973 He is a Spanish expatriate. Pablo Picasso was one of the greatest and most influential artists of the 20th century. As well as the co-creator of Cubism, he constantly reinvented himself through different stages in his style, including the Blue Period, Rose Period, Cubism, and Classical Period. According to him, painting is another way of keeping a diary. A painting reflects one's story expressed, personalized, and beautified. Painting is the expression of ideas and emotions, with the creation of certain aesthetic qualities in two-dimensional visual language. The Mona Lisa is a half-length portrait painting by Italian artist Leonardo da Vinci. The Mona Lisa is one of the most valuable paintings in the world. The elements of this visual language are its shapes, lines, colors, tones, and textures. These are used in various ways to produce sensations of volume, space, movement, and light on a flat surface. The Starry Night Vincent van Gogh painted Starry Night in 1889 during his stay at the Asylum of St. Paul de Mausol near St. Bremy de Provence. These elements are combined into expressive patterns to represent real or supernatural phenomena, to interpret a narrative theme, or to create wholly abstract visual relationships. The Creation of Adam, created in 1512, this is one of the iconic paintings of Michelangelo. The Creation of Adam is the painting on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. The painting has become a symbol of humanity as the image depicts the hand of both God and Adam on the verge of touching. An artist's decision to use a particular medium such as tempera oil, acrylic, watercolor, or other water-based paints, as well as the choice of a particular form such as mural, easel, panel, miniature, manuscript, scroll, screen, panorama, or any of a variety of modern forms. The choices of the medium and the form, as well as the artist's own technique, combine to realize a unique visual image. Painting refers to the process of applying color on a flat surface. Forms can be created using a wide variety of materials such as watercolor, acrylic ink, oil, pastel, and charcoal. Surfaces for painting include wood, canvas, cardboard, and paper. Painting is considered two-dimensional, meaning it has only height and width. Forms of painting Easel painting the easel painting is perhaps the most common form of painting, which involves applying color to a board or canvas that is fixed on an upright support called an easel. These are meant to be framed and hanged on the wall after creating them. Mural A mural is described as a huge wall-sized painting used to impart messages to the public. A new form of mural, which is portable mural, was developed in order to prevent the mural from being erased from the wall, which was created by using bold strokes in applying bright colors on pieces of cheesecloth or canvas. Talon painting. A talon is described as a backdrop or background for the stage, which are used for Comedia, Cerzuela, and Zinaculo, the popular forms of theater in the country. Gypnian Kalesa painting. The Kalesa is typically painted using one color. The borders of the Kalesa are decorated with geometric patterns, repetitive patterns, and or thin lines. Gypni painting evolved from Kalesa painting. In a typical Gypni, a logo number or painting is covered near the driver's seat, as well as near the seats adjacent to it. Collage. This refers to a form of painting that involves combined images in a single artwork. This entails cutting and pasting materials such as paper, fabric, tin foil, and other relatively flat materials onto a board or canvas. Themes of painting. Genre painting. Genre painting portrays people in daily activities. During the contemporary period, genre painting took several directions. One of these new approaches is folk genre, which mainly focuses on the everyday activities of the folk. Another approach is using the style of cubism in depicting folk or urban subjects. Historical painting. The historical painting depicts a scene from the past. It often has a lesson concerning national values. Interiors, this refers to painting of a space inside a part of a house or building. This usually reveals the social class of the family living in that house, as well as the traits of the people living in it. Landscapes and seascapes, these paintings portray natural scenery or urban scenes. Mixed media is now used in creating landscape paintings. Closely related to landscapes are seascapes, which focus on large bodies of water, particularly the ocean or the sea. 
Portraits. This refers to a painting portraying one or more specific individuals. This usually portrays the physical characteristics of the subject and seek to show an understanding of that person's character. Nudes. These are paintings that portray the unclothed human figure. Nowadays, a wide variety of materials and styles can be used in painting nudes. Nude painting sessions are conducted in galleries. Religious painting. Common subjects of religious painting include alone religious image, lives of the saints and the scenes based from the scriptures like the nativity scene and the station of the cross and etc. Still life. This refers to a painting that depicts natural or man-made objects that form a composition in a natural setting. The subject is painted in a highly realistic way that it resembles to a photograph.